Hello, I'm Stan and I'm going to present GPT for Sheets, our new tool. So what is GPT for Sheets? Well, it is a Google Sheets add-on, which by the way also works with Google Docs now if you want to generate longer form content um, and enables you to use OpenAI's artificial intelligence, uh, GPT models directly uh, in your documents. So in Google Sheets or in Google Docs. Uh, once it is per, uh, installed and set up, you basically get a function that is called GPT with which you can call uh, OpenAI GPT. So, for example, here I type hello and it's going to reply, okay, hi there, how can I help you? This is how you know it works, okay? So, what can you do? Well, for example, you can ask it to write um, a tagline for you, write a tagline for a car shop and there you go drive away with the best deals of at our car shop great um, so what's good about it being available in a spreadsheet well you not have to put the whole instruction in there you can simply actually write your instruction in a cell write a tagline about an ice cream shop this time and then you can do gpt oops all right gpt and then reference this cell here c3 type enter and it will work so this this makes it super easy to uh, write instructions in a spreadsheet so you can and actually you can write some detailed instructions. So let's say that you want to write a tagline about an ice cream shop. Uh, it should be uh, witty and it should assume the shop will be in Iceland where it is very cold. Okay, so now I can type GPT and take all of this and let's see what the result is so there we go um, as you can see you can take a full range as a parameter so this lets you list your instructions uh, very neatly for example I will do another one where this time I will uh, ask to write an email. So I will say, okay, the task is to write an email. The tone should be um, joyful. The style should be casual. Uh, the topic should be uh, thank you uh, for flowers. Um, and well, let's do it this way. So I will do GPT and then put all of it in there and type enter. And there you go. And then you could just then change, for example, uh, tone to, uh, I don't know, angry which doesn't really make much sense if you're thanking for flowers but let's try it waiting a few seconds and there you go uh, GPT the subject is not appreciated I received the flowers you sent me and while I appreciate the gesture I'm not sure what you thought it was necessary so well, if you ever are put in this um, awkward, really awkward situation where you receive flowers, but you're actually angry, well, GPT will really help you in this situation. As you can see, it's really powerful. Uh, it's very easy to give detailed instructions with context uh, with the GPT function. So before we move on to other stuff, I want to show you, tell you a little bit about the other parameters of the GPT function. Uh, one very important one is, so I will double click here and then in order to um, access the documentation to the function, you can just double click and then unroll this and you will get some 
uh, more information about what you can put in there. But really, like the most important parameter would be the temperature uh, here. Temperature, it's basically how creative um, the AI should be. So it, should, it is a value between zero and one, and the closer it is to zero, the more straightforward it will follow your instructions, and the closer it is to one, the more creative it will be, but it also means like it could sometimes go too far. So by default, it is zero. Now I will change it and I will put it to one. So I put an empty uh, argument here because as you, can, as you can see, there is also a value uh, argument that we can put here, but I don't need it in this case, so I will just put one. Uh, I will just skip it, add comma, and put one, okay? And it should give me a more creative uh, draft of an email in this case. Well, in this case, maybe, yeah, okay, the subject actually changed, really? Uh, question mark, this is, nice. but if the, um, if you want taglines, uh, this is where, uh, Putting one as temperature will really help you. So let, let's go back, like write a tagline. Um, I will actually delete this. Oops. Um, write a tagline. Uh, tone should be uh, joyful. Uh, I will remove this. And topic is uh, or for. Uh, okay, an ice. Cream shop. Okay, here we go. And I'll say country is okay. Kenya. Now GPT. I take this and I add one. There we go. Um, if I put Iceland here, it will change and give me um, a tagline about Iceland, uh, an ice cream, for an ice cream shop in Iceland, sorry. Uh, so there we go. Um, this, is, this is really nice. And so if you follow it correctly, there is a, a parameter that I skipped here because you really don't need it necessarily, but the value parameter can be used if you want to generate um, multiple taglines for different variations of, a, per, of uh, a parameter of your prompt, for example. So let's say that uh, I want to generate, uh, so I have a list of countries here. Uh, so I will put countries here. Uh, and I will have Iceland, uh, Kenya, France. Uh, okay. So I can move this and then I can uh, do GPT, add the basic instructions of my prompt fix this range with dollar signs. Basically, this means that this range will not move if I drag a formula down. And then as value, I add this Iceland here. Um, and I will put one as temperature for to have something smart. And there we go. Okay, cool off with joy at Iceland. So now, if I drag it, I get one tagline per country um, because the formula that I dragged uh, fixed the range here. And uh, since this part here was not fixed, it once I drag the formula, it changes the range to the next one and the next one. So this is really powerful if you want to generate uh, one piece of content per row. Um, okay. Uh, now let's say that you do not want 
you don't you, have, you don't have enough with just one suggestion per instruction. You want, for example, uh, five taglines uh, for uh, your uh, your instruction. So what you can do is use a variant of the GPT function, which is called GPT list. So you will say GPT actually GPT list, and you will put here write a tagline, write five taglines for a car shop. Okay. And there you go. And you get one tagline per cell, which then makes it quite easy for you to manage. Uh, um, whereas if you had asked for this with just a GPT function, you would have get gotten everything in just one cell, which is not very easy to manipulate afterwards. Uh, see, so the GPT list function is quite, ni quite nice, and it works the same way uh, for detailed instructions. So again, if the task is to write a tagline and uh, about is uh, a car shop. Uh, again, you can, sorry, here, you need to put the number, so write five taglines. Uh, although you could also, if you're good at spreadsheets, split this uh, so that you can make the number variable. I will not show this in this video, otherwise it will be too long, but uh, then here you just go GPT list and select this. And there you go, you get uh, five taglines. So here if I change this and instead of a car shop, I, uh, I uh, close and shop. Or let's say I will do, yeah, okay. Well, there you go. I mean, you understand how it works. Uh, very powerful. So I want to show you one more function, which is really awesome uh, in this video. And we'll show you the magic of uh, GPT for Sheets. So let's say that you have a range of data here where uh, you have some examples that I've actually generated with GPT itself, as you can see and you want to fill um, the holes. So you do not need to give instructions. You basically can use our other function called GPT fill, uh, where you should just provide uh, examples. So you provide the example rows that are full, and then you provide the partial rows that are missing some values. Um, and here there's only two columns, but you could do this with more columns, doesn't matter it will still work. And then you uh, put uh, some temperature if you want to, uh, and GPT will automatically fill these descriptions here. Waiting a few seconds, and there we go. We actually had a little problem where it skipped the salad. Uh, interesting, but Usually it mostly works. Let me try again here. I will uh, yeah, let me let me try again. I will remove the temperature and I think it will work better. Okay, this this time it works perfectly fine. We have one description per byte uh, per um, per product. And as you can see, the description descriptions are good. So you could also add like a a column with uh, some keywords to include in the description, if that makes sense. Uh, and then the description will be uh, using, based on how the examples are made, uh, these keywords. Another way you can use this is to clean data. So here, let's say that I have like a column of 30 emails uh, in the sense that there, there are some quotes and some weird things. Like you often get this if you, um, copy paste from Gmail threads, for example. Uh, so here again, you just provide some examples here of what a, dirt, a clean email is from a dirty email, and you type GPT fill of these examples and the partial 
list and let's see how it goes. Okay, as you can see, we get a clean list for all these addresses, works perfectly, uh, super fast. You can also do this with name. So sometimes names are um, capitalized in different ways. Uh, there are some titles, some little, uh, um, yeah, smiley faces. Uh, if you if you got that list from, for example, LinkedIn, um, and you just want a clean list of full names. So again, TPT fill. Give the examples. Give what needs to be cleaned. And boom, as you can see, like all the capitalization got corrected, uh, whether it is in the first name, the full name, doesn't really matter. There, there was no example that showed first name plus last name capitalized. Uh, only this one just worked. Uh, and here we got Gregory House instead of Dr. Gregory House. So, Really like super powerful uh, and super easy to use. Really magical. Uh, this this uh, GPT AI is is incredible. Um, okay, I will stop here. Uh, there are many other videos uh, in this channel that you can use to know more about how to use uh, GPT for Sheets. Again, please, uh, if you want to use it, install it, uh, try it. I hope. Uh, it works for you. Please uh, ask questions in the comments. I try to reply to every question uh, or send me, uh, fill the form if you have a problem uh, and you request some help. And tell me what you use it for and this way will improve the product. So thank you very much for listening. I hope this video was not too long. And I will uh, sign off now.